Hi. Hello, everybody. My name is Big Joe, and welcome to another episode of JN Data Soft. Today, I will be talking about how to secure your database to avoid data loss. So, if you are currently watching this video, kindly subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell for more updates. So, let's get to into it. So, to secure your database, why is it important to avoid data loss? So, in the situation of data loss, you should have your database secure so that you don't have to lose all your information. Why is it important? In the situation of power outage or data crash or when your PC crashes, you should be able to retrieve your data. And we have built into JNetSoft a backup feature which we'll be using. So, I'll be explaining to you how you'll be using this backup feature. And the first one is by uh, using the auto backup and also by using the file path. We also have the pen drive and external hard drive and uh, using uh, the cloud storage. So if you do have a pen drive or an external hard drive, you can back up your database periodically onto it so that you don't lose the information. So when you happen to transfer your your database into a new computer you can restore your database so that you can have all your information so this is how you go about it so as you can see I have a storage a removable storage device on the on my computer so I'm going to back up the database until I'm going to explain to you how you go about the process so I'll go ahead and minimize this and then I'll come to setup settings and advanced settings and then you come to backup database and when you come to this section you have all of these options we have the backup database we want to backup on a removable storage device or an external hard drive you click this you click ok and then it opens a folder it's giving you a location where you want to back up your information so i want to back up on my remote storage device so i'll click on usb and then i'll click on ok when I click and information is being given, the database backup was successful. Now let's go ahead and check if we have the database in there. Good, you can see we have backed up our database. That's the JN backup where the current gives you the date, the current date and the time in which the database was backed up. Good, so that is how you use the removal storage device to back up the database. Next is the auto backup feature. With the auto backup feature, it has the ability to backup the database automatically as you keep using the database. So if I happen to come to my root drive, I open any folder such as this, come to my root drive, the local drive C, you can see I have the JN database backup. So as I keep using the database, it automatically backs up the database in here for me. I could also redirect it by using the file path. This one is done automatically. However, if I happen to, let me delete the database. Let me just delete the entire database inside. And then, so if I happen to actually use the database, uh, it automatically packs it up. You can equally click here and it, to send the file to the file path what we have here onto the database so this is it let's must move here then we have the database back up in here so you see that is how it is you can equally redirect to a file path you need to set a file path you can click here and set a file path you see i've set a file path back up my database in this particular folder so I'm going to explain to you how you set a file path to back up your database as you can see here we also have the cloud storage so what is the cloud storage the cloud storage is basically having all your information being stored online and it's the most secured uh, way of securing your database so in cloud storage, my own drive actually provides a 5 gigabyte free storage. Is there one drive is a cloud storage that you can back up the information. So we are going to be using the one drive to back up our information. I'm going to explain to you how you go about it. So first of all, to be able to use the one drive, you need to create an account with Microsoft. 
and then you download what we call the OneDrive setup and then you install it. So how do you go about it? So just head on to Google and just enter create a Microsoft account and then you click on the first link here and when you click on the first link it brings you to the website and you click on create a Microsoft account. It's a basic information that it will be given to you. You just have to enter create uh, your email, enter your email, your first name and last name and then you are good to go. And when you are also done with that, you need the OneDrive setup. And the OneDrive setup is mostly compatible with Windows, uh, an upgraded version of Windows like Windows 10, uh, Windows 11. They are the most latest version that comes along with the OneDrive. But if you don't have the OneDrive, you can download it. You just head on to Google and just download, just set for download OneDrive then you come just follow the link and you just download the OneDrive account so so if you can see I have the OneDrive already installed this is the icon for OneDrive I have it installed I have my database and everything linked to the OneDrive account um, you can equally use the file path to back up your information and this is how you go about it when you come here first of all set the file path so you can choose the location in which you want to back up your information onto first of all let's just create a folder i will now want to redirect by using my onedrive account to back up my database into my onedrive account and then um, this is how you go about it you just click on onedrive so I can just create a folder uh, in my OneDrive account. This is a folder, and I just give it a name. Maybe this is uh, my my JN database backup. So in this folder, this is where I want to be saving the the auto into the auto backup so you see i've opened it so to get the link you just click right click and click on properties and then when it opens for you just come to security and you can just copy the link in here like this just control plus c and you hold ok you close it and i just come here and then you paste it here and once you paste it in here you just click save you can also select the file path where you can save all your database information so just click on ok and then close so i've moved the file path into it so if you can see here if you navigate into this folder you would notice that my folder is empty now that i've set up the file path it's empty let's go ahead and minimize it and let's back up so as i set up the backup as i begin to enter data the system uh, maybe let me just make an alteration in the system so I'll just go ahead and add something copy and then once as you use it as soon as you, you exit out of the app the system automatically backs up the data into the OneDrive folder so you can see so it is automatically synced it is automatically backup into this folder so that is how it is and then the next feature is to link so we can use the synchronization and the link feature to link into the app so how do you go about that so I'll be creating a separate video of how to backup your database or you can link your database so this time you wouldn't have your database stored on your computer you have it straight in your OneDrive account then you now link it to the software in the front end then you begin to work with it now this is an upgraded version of JN data soft version 4.7.42 and then we have a lot of bug fixes and a lot of improvements so these are the changes the new update that we have we fixed a lot of bugs we can now network the database the cloud storage expense management system source and inventory then we've also improved on the stability and the performance improvement so you can kindly watch this video and then you know how to now link your your database right from your OneDrive account so that is a live
streaming so you have all your database and everything stored now as you can see here this is the particular folder that hosts my my pictures and other stuff I have um, uh, what's it called? This my pictures, the pictures that the database is being linked into. I'm going to explain to you how you go about by storing this in your OneDrive account. Then you also link the data, the pictures into the app so that you can have the app right in the software. So I will end here. Kindly subscribe to my channel. If you haven't downloaded the app, kindly log on to my website and download the app. You can get the setup and then you generate a license key. You can contact me on this number for any assistance. I'm here to help you guys. See you in the next video.